Hello there, Braden Smith here from Learn to Play the Fiddle. I want to play for you today a lovely hornpipe by one of my favourite composers, Ed Reavy. This is a tune called The Lone Bush. So that's the hornpipe, The Lone Bush, written by Ed Reavy. Um, Ed Reavy said about this tune that it was written about a, a small bush that stood in front of his house that survived all the gales that blew through, and he often wondered about its perseverance. Um, I'll play it for you slowly, uh, so you can have a, so you can work out the, the notes. It's got a slightly unusual B part, which moves between that F sharp and F natural. Uh, so have a look out for that. So let's just have a look at that one bit in the B part, slightly tricky section moving between the F sharp and the F natural. I'll play it for you super slow so you can see exactly what's going on uh, and, and, and work out how you're, gonna, how you're gonna move between the F natural and the F sharp. So here's just that first bit of the B part. So there's one spot in there in particular where you really need to play uh, your second finger across the A and the E string on the C natural and the G natural respectively um, because you're going to be switching between them right in the middle of that passage. I'll try and show you where I mean. Oh, 
time. And then moving to the F sharp. Back to the F natural. So I hope that will help you to, um, to sort out that little tricky passage. Uh, the only other thing I'll say about this is I tend to mix up playing these triplets as slurred triplets and as separate bowed triplets. So almost every, almost every single one of the triplets in this tune you can do either. So for example at the beginning of the A part, this little run up just to start the tune, you could play that with separate bows, uh, or you could play it with slur. And you could slur into that first note, or leave it separate. And, and likewise with pretty much all the triplets throughout the tune. So for, just to play the A part with all separate bows. Or to put more slurs in. For example, or you can mix the two up. So play around with the uh, with separate bow triplets, slurred triplets. If you're going to do them as separate bows, keep those bows really nice and short, so you can keep it nice and bouncy. That's the whole kind of feel of this, this and all one pipes really. So I hope you have a lot of fun with that. Uh, until next time, bye bye.